It's time now for County Wide, a presentation of Yavapai Broadcasting News. You'll hear about the interesting issues and happenings that affect all our lives. Here's today's County Wide. Well, a good day, everybody, and welcome to the program. It is County Wide. I'm Brad Miller. We're very happy to welcome uh, into the studio today Kelly Wilson, the director of the Old Town Mission in Cottonwood, and good day to you. Good day to you. Thanks for having me. Good to have you visit. Now, we've chatted uh, quite a few times uh, over the years. You've been a guest on this program and uh, active in a lot of different uh, kinds of things happening. One of the more exciting ones uh, that happens, of course, this time of year is the kids are getting back to school. Now, they may not like hearing that here at the end of July, but moms and dads <laughs> may, not. may be uh, completely ready. But alongside that, Old Town Mission has been tremendous over quite a few years now of helping young people get their school supplies. And that's happening right now, and there'll be a, an event coming up, I think, on the 29th? 29th, July 29th from 9 to noon at the Old Town Mission. Operation Operation Back to School. Operation Back to School. What does this mean? You're gathering items now that'll be dispersed for, for youngsters who, who need to get ready for school time. We are. So right now we are actively collecting backpacks, binders, notebooks, anything the kid's going to use in school. Right. Hand sanitizer, you need all, all kinds of stuff, and we're going to give it to all the kids and this year, we don't want to leave out those little ones going to preschool because they're so disappointed when they come through and they can't get anything. So we've got some special things for them, too. But okay. kindergarten, preschool, all the way up to high school. Okay, okay. We'll have some. It's, it's such a, a relief. I, I was talking uh, just uh, here recently with the, the folks doing the, the diaper uh, drive uh, behind that. And I we talked about how it starts with diapers because, uh, you mm-hmm. know, young mothers especially, new mothers, first-time mothers right, especially. Right, yeah. Really need that. But then it becomes about so much else. And I know that this is really kind of the same thing when you find in that backpack things maybe you didn't even know that you needed it and is, how that yeah. helps prepare the kids. It is. And it's amazing. You just don't realize how, you know, the economy is right now. Everyone's struggling. And I went online to Walmart. They'll say, they'll, you can click a button and it'll put everything in your cart. And I think some of the carts for the different ages were up to like $150, $160. Per kid. Yeah. And it just really starts to add up. and Quickly. You know, we really yeah. want to make sure that all the kids have the same tools that they need and everything that they're not feeling left out so they can succeed in school and really focus on yeah. getting an education and becoming, you know, growing up and all of the members. Things. Yeah. Well, and, and there you go. And you kind of talked about that, how it's not just, I mean, there's, there's the education piece of it. There's the stuff that you're going to kind of be expected mm-hmm. as a young student to go into yeah. school. But also, uh, when kids don't have the supplies they need, for whatever the reason is, uh, there can be kind of a social uh, piece uh, to that. And who wants to start day one with those kinds of uh, those kinds of things? Right. So it, it, it just goes to show, here again, there's layers on this. It's not just about the supplies. It's about that confidence. Because uh, a young person needs to feel comfortable and confident uh, mm-hmm. in order to learn. It's like having a good breakfast for kids. Right. And yeah, that's important, Kind of too. giving them the confidence they need and... Then they get to pick out the backpacks, too. So we really, we order in oh, bulk, but we try and order only one case. So there's only going to be like 24 identical backpacks. So everyone's going to be able to pick out their own backpack. And it shocks me every year how much the high school kids, they're like, can we go pick out from this table? You know, because it's got the the Transformers <laughs> or the Disney ones. Right. And they're like, right. we're like, yeah, sure. So, you know, everyone gets to pick out their own backpack. So it's shopping. So they're not just getting... A generic backpack they get to choose and that's you know gives them a little bit of define your confidence. personality yes. a l- little yep. bit and it's just like a t-shirt the backpack can be part you're gonna lug yes. it around all year it's long. all year round so <laughs> now you've got some uh, business uh, and uh, some strong supporters for this program uh, for some time do they typically help with kind of financial resources or um yeah. do people if there's any businesses or individuals i guess listening right now which is is preferred if one right. or another you know it it does make it easier if they give us the um funds that way we can yeah. go out and find what exactly what we're missing but we have a lot of people that are donating uh, donating just supplies and dropping off at our thrift store that's great um 810 west mingus avenue you can just drop it off anytime but you know we have some great sponsors that have um, just give us financially. So Dino Crane is a huge supporter. Mr. Reuter, I think, is like been there since I've started back in 2012. That's great. They are nonstop. They really believe in this program. Yeah. Um, we got Blue Cross Blue Shield coming down from the Valley this year, supporting um, Operation Back to School, PNC Bank from Prescott Valley. So really some great, just great supporters that are 
you know, and of course, United Way of Yavapai County, they're a huge supporter of this. So we just all partner together and we can't do it without them. Yeah, understanding what uh, young people need to go in, uh, get in there and uh, uh, kind of get, hit the ground running, if you will, on uh, day one. So there's nothing else that needs to be uh, uh, acquired. Um, when we talk about school supplies, I know on your website, there's a pretty good list of what we need. We mm-hmm. think of pencils and pens, uh, crayons, maybe a little box of uh, Kleenex. It's been a long time since I've been at school. So that's yep. what I'm thinking way back then. But what might be uh, more commonly overlooked or maybe a little bit pricier that uh, can be, uh, you know, that young kids need today or high school age kids, whichever right. need today. Yeah. yeah. The high school ki- age kids, they're going to need a lot more Sometimes they need the calculators, things like that. Highlighters that we forget about, um, mechanical pencils, the graph paper, note cards. It's really, and Walmart has a great list. You can go and I think all the schools go into Walmart and kind of click what each grade needs. So if you're struggling a little bit, that's where I I went first. And you can just click on it. And they even have some of the teacher's names on there. So you can click on your teacher's grade and find exactly what – each teacher is requesting. Oh, that's awesome. Um, on okay. there. It makes it kind of got it down to an art and a science. Makes it a little bit easier because okay. sometimes I forget what kids need. So, you know, I have a little bit older kids, so I'm like, it's hard remembering. And every year something changes. And- right. Will there be kind of, I don't know how to kind of phrase this, like an a la carte where maybe a mo- a mom or dad doesn't need the backpack itself mm-hmm. and or some of the supplies, but just a few things to kind of round out that backpack. Can you help with that too? Yeah. So we have a bunch of ones that are pre-packed. They'll be able to just grab one of those, and then towards the end, we've got we'll have the binders and everything kind of loose, so they can kind of pick and choose what they're missing. Um, But this year, you know, we also have we're raffling off four gift baskets, and we're going to have some great prizes in there, so we can still get some last minute gifts donated for that. We've got a bunch of board games. Outdoor activities, just anything that a kid might like. So they're going to be able to have a chance to win that. And we're going to play a few games. And, of course, the fire department does plan on making an appearance once again. Okay. They help us every year distribute. And the kids love the fire, being able to go on the fire truck. This will be the distribution event, and that's the one on the 29th, as you mentioned earlier, yes. 9 to noon. And this will be at the at the mission now on Pinnell. We are going down to the Old Town Mission. Yeah. Um, just keep in mind, there's going to be a lot of... Of traffic, so if yeah. we don't usually run out, I have never run out of supplies. Of course, things do happen, but if you don't want to be there for the crowd, I'd suggest just waiting it about an hour. Once we get going, it kind of slows down, and then from ten ten thirty, it's pretty slow. So you can walk in and kind of have the walk of the whole mission. You can yeah. just walk through and not have to be waiting in a line. Always so. a crowd right up front. That's how, yep. <laughs> how we like to do things. Early bird gets the worm, but there's plenty of worms in this case. And Kelly Wilson and the Old Town Mission working very hard now for quite a few years. And this uh, event coming up on the 29th will be a tremendous success as well, I'm sure. Operation Back to School. All kids will receive brand new backpacks and school supplies. And then they're going to have fun as well. Some fun and games, as Kelly mentioned. Hot dogs and chips and drinks and all of that. Nine to noon at the mission. Uh, uh, location, the central location on uh, on East Pinal. Uh, again, July 29th, 9 o'clock until noontime. We'll take a short break. We're back with Kelly Wilson from Cottonwood's Old Town Mission. And I'm Countywide. Right Life changes, then it changes again. Predicting the unexpected in life is impossible. That's why it's called unexpected. So when it comes to financial goals, our philosophy is don't predict, prepare. Hi, I'm Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Matthias Sandoval. A job loss, change in health, or a loss of a loved one can have a big impact on your family's financial security. Let's work together to help make sure you're equipped for life's unexpected events. Call our office to schedule a face-to-face appointment. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Verde Solaire, your hometown heating, air conditioning, and plumbing company in the Verde Valley. And your trusted North Central Arizona Goodman dealer. Goodman is a name you can trust with the revolutionary Comfort Bridge technology factory installed into select Goodman gas furnaces and air handlers to ensure the entire system operates at peak energy efficient performance. Verde Solar offers free in home estimates, locally owned and operated since 1983. Visit them at verdesolar.com. Better, cleaner, faster. Hi, this is Lewis Rice with Rice Accounting Jackson Hewitt Tax Service. 
with a very sincere thank you for your continued business over the last 20 years. All of us at Jackson Hewitt Tax Service are very honored for the many community awards we've been given over the years. As always, we are open year-round providing services for taxes, payroll, and bookkeeping. Jackson Hewitt Tax Service, located throughout Northern Arizona, can help you with all your tax and accounting needs. For our nearest location, call 800-234-1040. Let's talk. That's the message from Jonna Randall Murdoch, your local Farm Bureau agent providing a personal touch when making insurance and financial decisions. Jonna will simplify your insurance needs while offering competitive pricing. Let's talk auto, home, life, and farm. Call Jonna at Farm Bureau today at 928-649-8686, your Cottonwood Farm Bureau property and casualty insurance company. At Farm Bureau, they insure more than just farms. Welcome back to the program. Again, it is countywide. I'm Brad Miller. Kelly Wilson uh, is here. Uh, Old Town Mission in Cottonwood, and uh, the biggest thing on the calendar coming up most uh, quickly, Operation Back to School and uh, the dispersal of the backpacks and uh, really basically all of the school supplies that uh, your young student might need will be available July 29th, 9 o'clock until noon, and that'll be at the Old Town Mission on uh, East Pinal, 116 East Pinal in, uh, in Old Town. Neighbors helping neighbors, the Old Town Mission for a long, long time, has been doing just that. Uh, talk to me now. There's clothing needs for kids going back to school. And I call students kids, and I know high schools don't like to be called kids, but I keep calling them kids because I'm yeah. an old man. They're kids. <laughs> so they're kids. All right. <laughs> so we can just accept that. Uh, but a lot of times clothing and uh, shoes and things like that become part of it. That will not be part of the backpack. That's for school supplies. But you can help. Right. Clothing. Yeah, we tried that last year, having the clothing connection, and it worked well, but it was way too crowded at the mission for that. So we have a kid's shop that is available year round. It's stocked and ready to go. So parents can come in Monday through Friday, nine to about two and just kind of ask, Hey, we want to go in the kid's shop. And now the kid's shop's not going to have clothes for high school students, but we do have clothing vouchers to our thrift store. Okay. Once you kind of get into high school, you're more kind of adult sizes. So we only keep the kids like 12 and under in our kid shop. Makes sense. But it's the kid shop is stocked with everything. So if you need school supplies throughout the year, so if you come into December and your kid is out of some supplies, we have some school supplies in our kid shop. Okay. So it's stocked with everything, diapers, um, baby bottles, anything that kids need all the way up from birth to preteen. So we could stop calling them we kids. Stop kids, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then the, now the kid shop is also on Pinal. It's at the, the, the mission location itself, not at the thrift store. Right. Yeah. So everything at our kid shop, nothing is, it's all free. So it is down at our mission okay. location. Okay. Um, and it's just, you have to go down to 116 East Pinal Street and just ask to go into the kid shop. And it's, it's where I would love to be. It's got little forest background, twinkle lights. It's, the kids absolutely love it. So it's, it's. Really nice, stocked with everything that kids need. And you can go today. Again, that's kind of separate from the back to school, the backpack uh, drive and that mm-hmm. July 29th event. So you can go uh, whenever uh, whenever it is open. Um, uh, your website's terrific, oldtownmission.org. Dot org. Okay, take a look there for hours and things like that, how to contribute, uh, how to donate, all of those kinds of things that uh, Kelly and the crew uh, have done so successfully for so long. So uh, take a look there if you want to get to the kids' shop. You talked about socks. We go through. I, I know how I go through socks, and I know how my sons went through socks when they were small. Yeah, it's, those are on a, uh, high on the list of things clothing needs that young people might need. You know, and I think I don't know how kids lose their socks all the time, but they <laughs> always do, and I never seem to do it. But we were just contacted by Just a Penny. I think it's Just a Penny Please dot org, and okay. so they work with Bombas, and Bombas. I think it's becoming very familiar in the area. They do free socks. You buy a pair of Bomba socks, they donate a pair. Gotcha. So they are going to be dropping off some Bomba socks for us to give away during our operation back to school. So we'll have a table where parents can pick out some socks for their kids and anything left over we'll put into the kid's shop. Okay. Um, another great thing that we're doing for operation back to school this year is breakfast because if you're going to school hungry, yeah, you can't learn. And I think last year – I don't know if they still had the free breakfast, but we are, thanks to Safeway Albertsons, we got a grant for breakfast for kids. And so every kid that comes through Operation Back to School this Saturday or Saturday, July 29th, Mm -hmm. will receive a Breakfast Matters food box. And it will be 
basically everything they need to make a breakfast for a week. So we'll have some cereal, some oatmeal, different things like that, and they'll be able to have breakfast for the first week of school for okay. every kid, and okay. we'll have about 400 of those. Okay, so not a food voucher, but actual the product. It'll be actual product. Take so, it home, put it on yep. the shelf, you're good to go get that week started. And, I mean, a great way to kind of learn how important that breakfast is. And waking Absolutely. up and being able to do that and kind of take that kind of time, even in the morning, to, to prepare and then get yourself ready for school. So we got clothes covered. We got breakfast for that first week covered. Mm-hmm. We got school supplies covered. Back to school, I think, is uh, going to be a success this fall. I hope so. And parents, <laughs> I know they're probably looking forward to it. I know I'm looking forward to sending them back. <laughs> do, you know, it's it's been uh, tricky and it seems like it always is, whether there's a recession or whether there's not. Whatever politicians are pulling the buttons or whatever or not, it seems like it's always difficult for a certain, uh, uh, you know, uh, part of our population. That's just how uh, life kind of works. Do uh, folks that come to either this main event on the 29th or any time come down, do they need to uh, show some kind of... Uh, 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 economic need. Does the Old Town Mission work that way? No, we, we don't. We have a, a short application, so we are going to ask everyone just to fill out a short application, but right. you'll be able to do it in line before you even get up there, and that's just to help us keep track of how many kids came through and, more importantly, kind of what zip code they're from. Right. Um, so, but no, there's no there's no proving to us. We're not going to ask for ID or anything of that nature. That can make things Any, uncomfortable for people. It is. makes it a little bit more difficult. Right. So if you're hungry, we're going to feed you, and that's our policy during the week. We do ask people to fill out an application, but if they come through and they're just really not comfortable with sharing their information, we have an anonymous okay. slot that we'll put it in, and you can just go and get food and it's just really when we're opened, if you're hungry, you can come in and eat. Well, and non you know, to kind of to the point, uh, nonprofit organizations, whatever mm-hmm. uh, their endeavor, uh, need to keep track of those kinds of things because so much kind of depends on it for future service. For, yes, uh, to the to the community. So that's why they're kind of asking those questions and why it's uh, important to take uh, take part in that. Let's talk a little bit about the thrift store. Now, uh, most mm-hmm. of what we've mentioned so far is kind of happening at the mission and the uh, the original site, uh, if you will, on on Pinnell. Uh, the thrift store up there on uh, 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 up on the bypass road, kind of sort of a catty corner from Maverick, um, has been going strong for a long time now. Talk to me about what's happening yeah. there. Well, you know, when we moved up to that location in Clarkdale, I think people were kind of getting a little worried because we're right on the border of Cottonwood Clarkdale, right next to Maverick yeah. Gas Station. But I think we've earned the reputation up there of providing quality, affordable merchandise. Um, I don't know if you know this, but every Tuesday is men's clothing. It's one dollar. Hmm. I think those are the that is the best price in the entire Verde Valley really? for clothing. Um, Thursday is dollar days for women, so all women's clothes are one dollar. And I do try and avoid it on Thursday because <laughs> we will have. Yeah. We will have ladies just grabbing clothes because it is, I mean, $1, you could just come in and change your wardrobe right. once a month if you needed to. Right. <laughs> um, but then everything that's being purchased there is supporting the Old Town Mission programs and services. So yeah. all of our employees that we have up, have up there, not all of them, but we work with people that might struggle and have an employment barrier. So if they're elderly returning to work, um, if they're on probation, if they have restricting hours because they have kids in school. We really yeah. try and work with people. So it's, you know, it's covering all those expenses that we're, we have up there. We have a lot of em- great employees that are struggling t- to get back on their feet. So every time you shop there, you're providing a great service and it's helping the Old Town Mission down in Old Town give food. And and uh, t- uh, most typically uh, thrift store uh, donations are made privately. They're from individual citizens. They are, yeah. So we'll we have a truck that goes out every week, Tuesday through Saturday, and picks up donations from our community. Um, we take almost everything except for like building supplies, and it has to be right. able to be resold. Um, but yeah, no, pretty much we will we can sell anything that comes in up there, and yeah. it's mostly private donations. We do work with a lot of hotels that do the bath towels, and when they're changing out the towels okay. and the sheets, well, that makes a lot of and sense. Things like that. So we do work with a few okay. businesses. Yeah. Okay. It's funny all the connections that you've made. I think you must know everybody in town, uh, <laughs> in one way or another. <laughs> uh, but but it also underscores how generous folks in our community are, whether they're business owners, uh, you know, or, mm-hmm. or some of the folks that you mentioned sponsoring this event coming up on the 29th, or just individuals, just people who understand there's a need in the community. There's things maybe I could throw out, gently used, and 
Yeah. Well, let's get it to the old t- town mission and the thrift store and uh, find and, it a second life and do good for in so right. many different ways. And it really helps. You know, I think a couple years ago we switched over. We really wanted to make our thrift store more active in our giving away in our nonprofit, the Old Town Mission. Right. Um, so we used to have a clothing store down at the mission. We don't, so we don't give any clothing for adults down at the mission. What we decided to do was start doing, they're called hope vouchers. So we give, last month, I think we gave away 180, well, actually, I think we gave away about 300, but only 184 kind of were redeemed. So people okay. will get a voucher down at the mission and they can go shopping at the thrift store and it's completely free. So each voucher will say you can get two or three shirts two, three pants, okay. socks, and have all those essentials, and you can just come in and get it. That way, we're not trying to keep our kid, our shop stocked. They can just go right into the thrift store and kind of choose directly from the racks. Okay. okay. And so that works. I think last year we gave away 2,292 vouchers, and we wow. just started kind of doing it that way. So, And it's kind of redeemed, <laughs> guys, yeah. <laughs> guys, have, guys have thought of everything down there. I wanted to mention, too, you said that there's haircuts for folks who might need a little trim. It is. So <laughs> how important is you just don't think about that. If you right. look at someone and you get a brand new haircut, the confidence that it gives you, right. the how it makes you feel is just is perfect. And it kind of just really, you know, it's the icing on the top, I guess. Yeah. And so, so exactly. every Monday we have a free dinner, 4 to 6 p.m. We have free haircuts. So you can stop in, get a free haircut. And once you get your haircut, you can just go right on over and get a free Hot meal. Yeah, get yourself and join us there. Spruce yep. up and, and then every go. Tuesday we have haircuts nine to about twelve thirty. You have to be signed in by twelve thirty because okay. they go till one. Okay, and so. it's just first come first serve. Monday evenings, in- Tuesday mornings. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, terrific. Good stuff. The Old Town Mission doing so much in our community, and there's just a short list of some of the things that are happening. Kelly Wilson is our guest on Countywide. We'll come back, wrap it up, and again remind you about the uh, Operation Back to School and that event on the 29th of July coming right up. We'll talk to Kelly as we come back to Countywide right after this. Life changes, then it changes again. Predicting the unexpected in life is impossible. That's why it's called unexpected. So when it comes to financial goals, our philosophy is don't predict, prepare. Hi, I'm Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Matthias Sandoval. A job loss, change in health, or a loss of a loved one can have a big impact on your family's financial security. Let's work together to help make sure you're equipped for life's unexpected events. Call our office to schedule a face-to-face appointment. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Verde Solaire, your hometown heating, air conditioning, and plumbing company in the Verde Valley. And your trusted North Central Arizona Goodman dealer. Goodman is a name you can trust with the revolutionary Comfort Bridge technology factory installed into select Goodman gas furnaces and air handlers to ensure the entire system operates at peak energy efficient performance. Verde Solar offers free in-home estimates, locally owned and operated since 1983. Visit them at verdesolar.com. Better, cleaner, faster. Hi, this is Lewis Rice with Rice Accounting Jackson Hewitt Tax Service with a very sincere thank you for your continued business over the last 20 years. All of us at Jackson Hewitt Tax Service are very honored for the many community awards we've been given over the years. As always, we are open year-round, providing services for taxes, payroll, and bookkeeping. Jackson Hewitt Tax Service, located throughout Northern Arizona, can help you with all your tax and accounting needs. For our nearest location, call 800-234-1040. Let's talk. That's the message from John Randall Murdoch, your local Farm Bureau agent providing a personal touch when making insurance and financial decisions. John will simplify your insurance needs while offering competitive pricing. Let's talk auto, home, life, and farm. Call John at Farm Bureau today at 928-649-8686, your Cottonwood Farm Bureau property and casualty insurance company. At Farm Bureau, they insure more than just farms. Welcome back. Our final segment to County Wide. Kelly Wilson, director of the Old Town Mission in Cottonwood. And uh, again, uh, Kelly coming up on the 29th. Uh, what do I need to know as I get ready for this big event? I've been listening to our show here this morning and I've seen it uh, in other places, also advertising on the radio. Uh, but what do I need to know uh, before I come out on the 29th? And my, uh, I've got three kids going to school and I need help with all of them. What do I need to be prepared for and what do I need to know before I come out? Well, Families, mark your calendar, yeah. July 29th. Yeah. The kids have to be there. So if you show up and you tell me you've got 12 kids, <laughs> they have to be there. That's the only requirement is 
Every child has to be there. Okay. So make sure you don't show up empty handed. And pretty much that's really all you need is you and the kid come out July 29th. And we can still get some last minute business supporters. Just give us a call or visit us at oldtownmission.org. I kind of, you mentioned at the top of the show, I kind of mentioned, uh, I kind of picture the youngsters, especially the littler kids, getting to pick their own backpack. I can see like a field. Uh, a, a locust yep. mowing through a cornfield or something. Do you need volunteer help that day? Or are you good to go? We do need volunteer help. I know the fire department comes, but we sometimes the fire department gets calls. So if they get a call, right. we've got to have someone step in and take over their spot. But if someone wants to volunteer specifically for this event, how can they get a hold of you? They can give us a call at the mission or just go on oldtownmission.org and kind of click the volunteer link and it'll send an email directly to us. Okay, terrific. Kelly, thank you. Thank you for all you do at the mission. Extend that thanks and our appreciation to all of the volunteers, all of the paid staff at the Old Town Mission in Cottonwood, Operation Back to School on July 29th from 9 to noon at the location on the East Pinal. That's where you can get those backpacks and get yourselves and your youngsters ready for school. I'm Brad Miller. It's Countywide, and we'll talk to you next time. This has been Countywide. Listen in each Tuesday and Thursday at this time. If you have a topic or guest idea that you'd like to suggest, email us, news at myradioplace.com.